Today's graphic design tutorial is all about how to add gradients to text without having to outline the text so you can still edit, change the wording, change the lettering, change the fonts and so forth. So let's dive right into today's Illustrator tutorial. And making today's video possible is iTube Studio by Immersoft. There are so many functions to this video downloading software which you can learn about later in today's video. So firstly, obviously, I'm going to need some you know, text or typography to show you how to do this procedure. And I'm actually using a font called Antonio, and I'm going for the bold version of that font family. Of course, anything works when it comes to this technique. And again, as I've shown before, one thing I personally like to do in Illustrator is I like to open up the artboards menu, then I head into the artboard options menu. And I like to place the center point so I know exactly where the center of my artboard is. And then I can arrange my design around that point. There are also other options in this uh, menu that you might want to take a look at and can help you in your graphic design process. Okay, so by default, our text is right here and it's, you know, it's not outlined, it's just standard text basically. If we try and add a gradient to the text, it's not going to be applied, it's gonna stay the same color as it was previously which in this case is black. I'm gonna make a gradient here and one of my gradient sliders is set to 0% opacity. So I'm gonna bump it up to 100 and change the color. One of the ways to actually achieve the effect we're looking for is to open up the Pathfinder window, which you can find under Window and Pathfinder. Then click the top right fly down menu, then come down to Compound Shape. This is going to allow you to add a gradient to your text, but also you can still edit the text and add more text to it afterwards. If you press G on your keyboard, you open up the gradient tool, which allows you to easily edit the gradient style, how far one of the ends of the colors goes across the gradient and so forth. Now, as you can see on this design here, I've got the SA with the gradient overlay according to the design. If you want to see a design just like this one, do let me know and I will make a tutorial based around this kind of design. So yeah, like I said, you can easily add more text and the gradient will still overlay the typography itself. So if I quickly type in Satori and then I press G, I can control the actual gradient layout according to the design itself because the orange isn't stretched far enough previously. And then I'm going to add in some typography contrast, you know, just for some visual appeal. Yeah, and that's the kind of stuff you can do using the compound shape process in the Pathfinder window with text in Adobe Illustrator. Now you can find a download link to iTube Studio down below in the description, and it can allow you to download videos with extension add-ons. You can also convert video and audio software too. It has a really easy to use user interface and you can transfer videos to iOS and Android as well. There are 10,000 plus video sites supported such as YouTube, Dailymotion, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and so much more. Now I must add that you can use this to download content for personal use. But if you want to use the downloadable content for commercial purposes, you do need permission from the creators. But yeah, do check out iTube Studio down below because it's fast, effective, and it's really, really useful. If you want to see more content by myself here at Satori Graphics, make sure to like, share, and subscribe my videos on social media. And do click that bell icon if you want to keep up to date with all of my videos. Until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.